This is my mom. My mom has an MD and a PhD. And I grew up saying words like mitochondria, um, hydroxylysine, and ketoacidosis, uh, which made me very popular uh, when I was 11 years old because nobody knew what I was talking about. So I thought I would go to medical school, but actually I went on rounds with my mom, and they had to bring orange juice to revive me because <laughs> something didn't agree with me. Uh, so uh, I ended up in law school, and um, you have now two lawyers in a row, so this is kind of a little bit like law school, but that's me, first day, civil procedure, torts, um, property, crim law, contracts, and legal writing. Um, and in those days, we had these things called books. I don't know if people remember them, but uh, that's what it was like, and I would carry that to every class. Um, and um, eventually, I ended up as a, a Wall Street lawyer. I did corporate law for three years, M&A, securities, banking, financing, uh, and that's uh, how I still look today. Um, uh, but then something happened. I went to something called the Medical Institute for Law Faculty, and I got a chance to actually be in the operating room in the, in the intensive care unit. And we saw one patient, and there was um, a bioethics debate about whether or not she was competent to make her own decisions. The doctors were saying she's not competent, and the doctor actually like lifted her arm, and of course it just flopped right down. And he said, see, she doesn't feel anything. And he was actually went up to the patient and yelled at her and said, are you feeling any pain? And she didn't respond. The doctor said, obviously, this is not a competent patient. And pretty much this debate was going on in this very academic way. Um, and so I actually, like, I breached the space between where we were standing and the patient, and I walked up, and I picked up her hand, and I held her hand, and of course she had all the tubes, and I, I went, went ahead, and um, she just started crying, and a tear rolled down her cheek. So obviously this person was very much alive, very present, and we shouldn't have been discussing her in that way right in front of her. Um, and so I realized at that moment, like something changed in me at that moment. I realized that healthcare is not just a bunch of abstract rules. It's very much alive. It's about people. It's about people in their rich emotional life. It's about life. Um, and I became, I dedicated my career to integrating mind, body, spirit, emotional, holistic approaches into conventional care and helping to architect the legal paradigms that would support a different type of care. And so I uh, was recruited to the faculty of Harvard Medical School uh, by David Eisenberg as a lawyer. I'm not a doctor, although I would like to play one on TV. So if uh, you know anybody who can make that happen, just uh, see me after. Um, but I was on faculty at Harvard Medical School as a lawyer to help advance the legal paradigms to support new medical paradigms. That's my perspective.